Please welcome Waiting Chen, VIBKU Leuven Center for Brain and Disease Research. Decoding the diseased brain via spatial transcriptomics and in situ sequencing. Thanks for the uh, nice introduction from uh, Alexandra, uh, because we also focus on the Alzheimer's disease. So actually, uh, especially we try to understand how do cells react in the pathogenic hallmark of the disease that is amyloid plaque. And it's obvious there are multiple cell types, they all have weird morphology, especially in this unique microenvironment. So our hypothesis is that there is a shared uh, functional molecular network by multiple cell type, especially within in this unique microenvironment. So, uh, but if we use the single cell biology to dissociate each single cell, we will lose this spatial uh, resolution. But when we try to measure the size of the pathogenic cellular response in the plaque niche, we found that the spatial resolution is a lot like a 100 micrometer in diameter, which fit with the um, a resolution of this technology that called spatial transomic. So the technology that can provide us the 2D RNA sequencing array, so, so that will provide us global transomic profile for each separated tissue domain. And based on your tissue property, uh, that can cover from five to 500 cells per global transomic profile. And actually, we indeed identify 57 of the genes they co-express among our huge database across all the different uh, tissue domains. And uh, they only show up, uh, the co-expression only show up in the uh, spot highly abundant with the amyloid plaque. So we name it as the plaque-induced genes. Then when we try to understand what the cell type express those uh, 57 of the genes, so we, we use the in situ sequencing. So the technology allows us to identify and hybridize more than 200 target at once on top of the brain tissue. So beyond the 57 of the genes, we include several cell type markers and also do the immunosending of the amyloid plaque on top of the brain tissue. So by this technology, that can help us to identify what's the cell type involved in this network and express our target genes within the pathogenic hallmark. Then the combination <coughs> of the two technologies that indeed help us to understand what's the uh, genes and the network uh, by the spatial transomic and what's the cell type involved in this network in the pathogenic hallmark of the disease. And there are more technology coming up. So if you are anxious in the spatial distribution of the uh, molecules, I'm very happy to discuss. Thank you.